Croatian Employers Association has sent a list of 16 questions about economic policy to Croatia's political parties ahead of the upcoming parliamentary elections. The association wants the parties to present clear ideas about how to transform Croatia's sluggish economy into a prosperous and open European society. The process of paying out tax returns for 2014 begins today, 15 days later than usual. The Finance Ministry has explained that this is due to the fact that a new way of tracking income has been introduced, as well as new forms and a new tracking system. The Human Rights House yesterday called on the government and parliament to halt the adoption of the changes to the law on health care and mandatory health insurance. They believe it will cause the health care system to collapse and threatens the right of all citizens to health care. The Croatian Patients Association believe that the changes will only be good for a few tycoons and will turn doctors into merchants. Meanwhile, Health Minister Sinisha Varga has refuted these criticisms, claiming that the reforms are being conducted to improve access to and the quality of healthcare services, not to financially burden citizens. At a conference yesterday, Varga said that the Health Ministry's reform measures have been thoroughly checked and approved by the European Commission, the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. Last night, the Serbian Ministry of Justice received a letter from the Appeals Chamber of the Hague Tribunal seeking the return of Vojislav Šešel to the UN detention centre in Šrevnirn. Apparently, the letter stipulates that this should happen in the shortest possible time frame. Šešel has said he will not go voluntarily, nor will he try to flee the country. The 14th Festival of Equal Opportunities, an international manifestation of urban culture, opened this morning in Zagreb's central Banjačić Square. Its aim is to provide people with disabilities the opportunity to demonstrate what they can do and convey the message that they must enjoy the same rights and obligations as others. Sport and Croatia's young tennis star Borna Cioric had a good day at the Roland Garros or French Open yesterday, defeating the American Sam Query 7-6, 6-3, Love 6, 6-3. He now faces the 18th seed Spaniard Tommy Robledo. Meanwhile, Anna Konyuk has reached the second round, beating the Russian Margarita Gasparian 6-1, 6-4. She now faces the Romanian Irina Camelia Begu. This afternoon's forecast calls for mainly cloudy weather inland with frequent rain and thunderstorms in places. There will be sunnier if unstable weather in the south of the country. Winds will be mainly light along the Adriatic coast with a northeasterly Bura wind strengthening during the early morning hours of Wednesday. Highest daily temperatures will be between 16 and 20 degrees Celsius inland, between 19 and 23 degrees on the coast. Tomorrow it'll be colder and windier inland. There'll be an occasional moderate northerly and northeasterly wind with strong gusts in places. In the east of the country, a northwesterly wind is expected. There could still be a little rain in places, mainly in eastern and higher regions. From Thursday, it'll become increasingly sunnier and warmer, although the mornings will remain quite fresh and foggy in places. On the coast, the next few days will be mostly sunny. There'll be a strong northeasterly Bura wind with gale force gusts. Temperatures during the night and early morning will drop, while daily highs will rise.